So um, can you, thank you, Polly, for recording. So welcome everyone, all of us who are always on the Level Up group. We are on the team call, ready to get rolling. Um, so we are doing something new. So if you're tuning into this, um, I know the people who are on live know this already, but if you're tuning into the recording, we are only gonna have one Sunday night call a month and that's gonna be the first Sunday of each month. So that would be tonight. So we are gonna go over recognition and um, I don't have fancy slides or anything like that because we're all working our business. <laughs> so I don't have time to make slides. We are on the hustle as a team. So we're super excited about that. But I wanna share with you some exciting things going on um, on our team. And then I wanted to share with you some exciting things going on for the month. So I'm going to share the screen and I'm just going to show you what I just posted in our Facebook group if you didn't have a chance to see. So can you all see that? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and go through this. So um, welcome to our new consultants who have joined our team. We have Jennifer, Angela, and Meg. And I did want to say something here. We are like low for sponsoring. Like even when I tallied up the numbers for sponsoring and sponsoring is the lifeblood of our business. So like, if you want to know like how your next month is going to do and your next month is going to do, it really is all tied into the sponsoring. So we want to see so many new people on our team um, this, this coming month. So like, that's super, super important. That's always been told to me, like, since I started this Now I can't see y'all. Let me move y'all's little window over. Um, how do I do that? Okay, now I did, that's better. Okay, so um, we have one in qualification for area manager. Jean is in qualification for area manager. She has been like, I mean, going, going, going. So she's hoping this month she will finish that up. She's running from one of her district managers, Kristen, who's like a powerhouse on her team. So, and she's going to be going for area manager. So it's going to be an interesting race. <laughs> so um, then we've got um, district manager calls. Okay. We have a lot of people. This is so exciting. Y'all we have Sarah, Amber, Paige, Allison, LaVon, Allie, Vicki, Denise, Lori, Caitlin, Trin, Oh, I have Denise on here twice. Kelly Doyle, Lori Stokes. I've got Vicky on here twice. I've got a couple of people on there twice, but um, I won't read their name, but I'll go and fix that. Um, okay, our brick. This is how we build our business. So if you're new and that doesn't make sense to you, basically what we do is we build in $2,500 bricks. So what does that mean? If our team is going for 200,000 as a team collectively, does that mean I'm gonna work any harder? No, I'm gonna be consistent with what I'm always doing and building new business of 2,500 every month. And then I'm gonna bring in on more people and teach them. So we have a lot of people doing a little bit. So um, our $2,500 brick earners are um, myself. And just so you know, like how this is like done when I do like the bonuses and the bricks, this is an order of like the highest to the lowest. Um, we do that so like we can be compliant by not putting numbers down, but I do think it's interesting because um, we've got some people, Kristen, if you look there, you're like third highest. That's awesome. So we've got uh, myself, Polly, Kristen, third, that's really good. Gabby, fourth. Um, Lauren Rose had a great month and then Christiana and then Caroline hit her brick. So, um, so yeah, super exciting there because that is really like, especially if you're going for a level, like if you're going for a level and you don't hit it and you're like, oh, why am I not hitting it? Chances are you didn't hit your brick <laughs> and you didn't sponsor enough people. So, um, that is going to be something that we're going to talk about in a little bit. Um, area award achievers. I earned that district award achievers. Polly earned that. And then me, and then we signed up 35 new consultants this month in March. Okay. I have on there. Let's quadruple that y'all usually that number is in the hundreds, the hundreds. So like, we really need to be focusing on bringing in new people into our business. So whether that's preferred clients or consultants, I mean, we want like a mix of both, but that is the lifeblood of our business. And honestly, like you, like if you're low at sponsoring this month, you're going to see your numbers below the next month and the next month. Like it really is interesting, like how those two will correlate there. So I wanted to talk about that just kind of like, um, if anyone is interested, that's not already in this group. So we have this level up group that, um, we started for anyone who wants to get to the next level, um, by, um, GTC, um, which is in July this year. So 
we want like basically it's from April until June, anyone who wants to level up. And so um, it's not like a group that like, oh, you can sit, you know, be a fly on the wall and just like, I mean, everyone in there is like hustling and doing the do. But the interesting thing is once you find out that you're in momentum like that, it really is it. I mean, I've been consistently working the same system for the past two years, I would say. And honestly, like it doesn't feel like I have like this push on close day. Like I don't have like, like, like it is like, you know, like steady going the whole month long. And I love that because um, the thing that's so interesting is that you really can see, like you can look back at your numbers and be like, oh my gosh, like my personal numbers are so high. My district numbers are so high. Wow, my area is going for region. You know, like you can see like all these numbers really start to like, just, um, just really like exponentially grow. And so one thing that I know all of us are challenging each other to do on this level up group is um, doing some groups, um, presentations. Um, Caroline, I'm gonna call you out because um, I, I explained this to the group um, before, but um, Caroline and I, right before um, I went on the trip to Mexico, went to Gadsden and did an in-person event. And there was like, how many people? I think there's 12 that were confirmed, but 10 ended up coming. And like, it's probably done over 1500, like when it's all said and done, like the new orders and everything like that coming in. And then, and then some, you know, it's not just like that um, month, but like, you know, and Caroline said something so interesting. She's like, why don't we do, why don't we do this more, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, well, COVID was one reason, but, um, but now like, since that's opened up, you know, it's like, yeah, why not? You know? And, and the difference is, I feel like when you do these, I mean, that's how I built my business. You know, every time I would launch new, I would launch two new people every month and I would do their first four presentations. So I was doing eight presentations a month. And then I was building, I was growing my own personal business with one-on-ones. So like, and then from those one-on-ones I was launching. So does that make sense? I would like launch two people, get one in qualification, get one to finish the next month launched two people. And so my group presentations were coming from the people I was launching, but my one-on-ones was really what was growing my personal business. And so um, the thing that's so great about doing groups is that like, for me, I feel like when I do a group, like you connect with people there on the spot, you make these relationships and you're not on your phone all the time. Like, I mean, I feel like when I'm doing like my personal reach outs, like this is me, you know, like my kids will walk in and I'm like this. And like when I'm doing these groups, it's like you do them, they're fun, you're in and out in an hour and a half, and then like you got the follow up, but it's not that big of a deal to follow up because you've already like, you know, made those relationships. Um, of course, we've got like Facebook events and healthy happy hours that you can do. But again, we know when we do virtual events like that in their groups, um, a lot of that, like I would say 95% of that, what you do in those are the follow up. You know, so it just kind of depends. So like, I really wanted to challenge this level up group to work on doing a few in-person things, A, just so they can see the difference because a lot of people, you know, just don't know the difference, but B, then you can kind of choose like to do like a mashup of it all, you know, like do like, so I've challenged myself to do two lunch and learns um, this month, which are, I love lunch and learns because you're literally in and out in an hour. And I usually end up selling three 30 days, three to four 30 days. And it's in front of a group of people that I don't even know, you know, and I, I love that. And it's just so simple to do. I usually target um, people I do business with. So like my dentist, my insurance agent, my attorney's office, you know, things like that. So, um, so that's one thing. And then the other thing was I was um, reaching out to people to host an in-person event. So um, I've got like my list of people who love that kind of thing. Um, and so I'm just reaching out to them. And so I've got those two booked as, as well. So um, if you are looking to grow your business, I would try that. And again, the thing that's so great about that is like the bulk of the work is done in that hour and a half. And so like, if you're someone who's like, I don't like the feeling of just like constantly have this thing, like you want to knock it out. I would encourage you to at least try that and see if you like that. And then of course, you know, the people who are like, just, you know, going along with, you know, the go of the flow kind of stuff and, you know, have their own group going, just keep, keep doing that. Um, okay. So I wanted to also share with y'all everything going on this month because Arvon has a lot going on. Okay. Who right now is close to earning Punta Cana? Like I'm going to earn it this month, y'all. So 
And I'm, then I'm going for the travel cash because I kind of made a deal with Atticus and I'm like, don't worry, we're not going to go on any trip unless I earn the travel cash because man, those flights, <laughs> they ain't cheap. <laughs> so, um, so definitely want to be earning the travel cash on that. But um, y'all, this is the time to do it. Like, I mean, there are three months left. So like there are people who can join the business now and earn it because like if I've already like we're three months in and have pretty much earned it, like someone can join in new in the business and earn it. And again, you know, when we were in Cancun, they were talking about people who had joined the business after Cancun was announced, not only earned the trip at the third level. So with the travel cash, but they promoted to the VP level. That's amazing. So, I mean, if, if these people are, are doing it, y'all, there's no reason why our entire team can't do it. And I can't tell you how much I want to see everyone there. You know, I'm probably had a great vision of like having like our chairs around in a circle that is going to happen. That is going to happen. So we need everyone to like, um, go ahead and like, you know, make a plan for that. Sharing bonus, um, you know, that's up and going. I would encourage you to like, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about this because this is not how we're building our business. Like this is just extra gravy for anyone you have who loves a mascara or, and again, more products are going to be added to this in the fall. But, um, but this is just a good program that just can like, it really can give people um, just, you know, your preferred clients and anyone else, um, like, like it can give you a way to, have people like build a business kind of at a smaller level. Um, we also have the affiliate program, which will launch, I think in the fall as well. Um, and that's kind of a different thing, but not to confuse anyone, but again, blinders on, don't even worry about it. Like if you have anyone interested in the mascara, then call me and I'll show you how you can earn the extra $10. Like that's, that's it. Okay. This is a big deal. Central area challenge. So if you are a district manager, you want to look at this challenge because it's for, um, oh, I'm sorry, not this one. I'll get to that one, the power to area manager next. But the central area challenge is just basically all area existing area managers and VPs who have a combined central area of 20,000 in April and May are invited to attend the Pure Vibe celebration, which is usually like the white party at GTC. Um, Y'all, if you're, you're out there, you're an area or a VP, you can do it. I've already done it. <laughs> and I didn't even know it when I read it. I was like, oh, I did it already. Yay, I'm going. So like, this is like something that we can all, all do um, who, you know, we want to see you there. If you promote to area, of course, you'll get to go to the white party. That's what that, um, that party was traditionally about. So um, and one way you can do it with this month is the power to area. Um, basically this is promoting to area manager, um, by like in one month. And so basically if you hit 15,000 SLQV, so that's your success line, like that's your everything, you know, volume, um, in April, you will promote to area manager as of May. So again, 5,000 must be your central district. So like, you know, count on bonusing, um, and you may only count a maximum of 7,500 QB from first generation paid as district managers. No one's in any danger of that. <laughs> so, so don't worry about that. Just hit your bonus <laughs> because if you're hitting 7,500 and you have someone above you, pretty much they've already promoted. So, um, so basically, um, if you're a district manager, what I would do is I would focus on bonusing and let's focus on bringing two people into your business. Three would be better, but let's focus on a minimum of two. And I mean, I'm telling you, this can happen. So, um, and again, like I look at that and think about when I first started this business 17 years ago, when we didn't have social media or anything else, my second month in the business, we hit 15,000. You know, like, so we not only finished district, but we went first step area. Cause you know, it's like, I look at those numbers, I was like, wow, that's a lot. And then I'm like, well, wait a minute. I did that my second month in the business and we didn't have social media. And we didn't have smartphones, <laughs> like we had cell phones, but like we weren't texting people, you know, we were basically doing like group events. So um, definitely possible if you want it. Um, okay, the auto ship product, y'all can read about that. Um, okay, this I think is really interesting. And there's a flyer on this, the power of duplication. I really love how corporate is really um, helping people duplicate their business. And basically what they're doing is um, just, let me see if this will pop open. 
um, is like selling the healthy habit sets. And like, you can look at this on your own to like, if, see if you want to do this, but this is just a good habit, a healthy habit for your business to get into. So basically, like, if you look at this, like if you sell, you know, one set, like you can see the volume six set this, you know, it's first step district, 12 sets, you can see what that is. And then you like, look and see like, okay, well, if you are a new IC and these are, you know, you have a new PC and then two new ICs and then those two new I ICs sell that much. Like you can see like how you could easily get to area manager doing that. And that, again, it's funny because um, Mary Reed, I don't, I don't know if a lot of you remember Mary Reed, but um, she's a good friend of mine. And when she was doing the business, we, there was this Wendy's commercial that talked about their 99 cent value menu. <laughs> and they'd be like, you know, how many Frosties would it you know, take to make it be, you know, $30 or whatever. And so we would always do that with like, okay, we're going for a region. How many eye creams do we need to sell? <laughs> you know, like 50,000, you know, but like, so it's just kind of funny that it's just breaking the numbers apart like that. And then um, exciting news. I'm sure you know this. You don't need me to tell you this. The mango peach flavor and um, the um, watermelon flavor fizz are here. One thing I would advise you to do is go and check with all your 30 dayers and all the people who have done the 30 day in the past year um and just let them know like send them out a cute little graphic or something like just letting them know that this is here for a limited time um and also you can do a search in your reports and see who has bought any kind of fizz and then you can like you know reach out to them and let them know um this is something my daughters are excited about we were talking about um the masks so the three new masks came out um this would be a good thing, I think, to like do, um, I don't know, like you could easily do like presentations, like do like a multi-masking kind of thing. Um, but anyway, these are the new masks that have come out. So you can read about that, send info to your clients. Um, and then, oh, and then the, um, the fun sun, sunny days ahead set is um, extended while supplies last. So you get a cute little bag with that. Um, I took mine to Mexico and it was, oh, you don't get a cute little bag? Are you sure? I did. Yeah. The, when it first came out, they had the bag and the stickers, but this one, it was saying that, um, no cute bag, no bag, no stickers. So you still get no all the stuff, <laughs> right? I wanted to get it for the bag. The bag is so cute. I know. Actually, I was going to get another one for the bag. But yeah. um, y'all want to know something funny about the pineapple. So when I was little, my mom, like my mom was like very, like we all took vitamins and all that. And so we had these like vitamins that were pineapple flavor and I hated them. And um, so we were actually in Mexico. My family was vacationing there and we were going to like see like the Mayan ruins or something like that. And um, I wasn't allowed to go until I ate my vitamins and I couldn't stand the taste of them. So I swallowed it and it was stuck in my throat the whole day and all I tasted was this pineapple that is what the pineapple fizz is like <laughs> like literally like terrible terrible association with that like I have a whole box of it and I'm like making my kids drink it I'm like I can't drink it I'm like I'm having like bad feelings associated with it so it's kind of funny how that is um okay and that's it um oh I want to tell you that um so the empower what's yeah. that I just said, so, you're going to talk about sign up Wednesday, right? Yeah. Well, register so, Wednesday. So, yeah. So, um, so GTC path to empower, um, is going to be the sign up. Is it on Wednesday or is it tomorrow? Your Tuesday, muted. my bad. It's, it's Tuesday. It's the fifth. I kept thinking. Oh, that's Tuesday? Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. For some Sorry. reason in my head, I thought it was tomorrow. Okay. So that's on Tuesday. Okay you definitely want to be there. I mean, everyone on this call right now, and then if you're listening in recording land, you definitely want, if you want to grow your business, you want to be in that. It is more expensive than it's been in years past, the registration fee, but it will only get more expensive <laughs> if you wait. Um, so, but you get a lot with that. And just like everything else, prices are going up with everything else. So I'm sure that was part of it. But, um, but it is like, it will sell out fast. I remember one year, um, GTC was like at an odd time, like in the signup was like in December 
it sold out in less than two weeks. So this is, I feel like going to be one of those things you definitely want to go. If you're worried about like childcare arrangements, if you have babies, bring your babies, that's totally fine. You have all of us to help you. I know that was something we had talked about with some people this week. Um, but you definitely want, and if you have to do it like in payments, I would do your registration first. And then the next priority, make it be the airlines ticket. We do everything on the cheap when you're there. Um, the exact registration is like, how much, can you look it up Polly real quick? It's like four or something or three something. It's three something. I looked at it today, it's like 345 or something. Yeah. yeah 349 for early bird. And then it goes to 399. I want to say like April 26 or something. Yeah. So, I mean, I would definitely, you know, make that your first priority because like that it's going to sell out. I'm telling you. So, um, yeah. And, and the, y'all definitely want to look at flights too. like get your flights booked. Quick tip. There's an app called Hopper. If y'all haven't seen it before, it's like a little bunny. Um, I'm going to go to my travel. Okay, yeah. I think so Gabby had told us about that before about Hopper. They're having can... a special sale starting tomorrow, like this whole week with like certain cities being on discount. Mm -hmm. And so on, let's see, I just saw it said like view preview sales. Uh, on the sixth, so on Wednesday, it says Las Vegas seventy dollars off. So I don't know if that's we're going to be where you're coming from or not, but seventy dollars is seventy dollars. And then also on one of these days tomorrow, oh yeah, tomorrow Punta Cana is one hundred and fourteen off. So if you know you're for sure for sure going, may as well get your tickets now. I mean. But yeah, get your tickets now and make sure you're going. I mean, like, that's the thing is like, you know, when everyone's just like, you know, I don't know, I don't know, like, no, decide and just do it. I mean, it's not like, it's not like, oh, I may have the ability to do it or I may not. It's just like, do it until, you know, like, don't give yourself an out. So, um, so definitely. So thanks for sharing that Lauren Rose. Um, and, and here's some things. So if you're worried about how much it's going to cost a let's grow your business, <laughs> Cause that's the point, right? So, um, we can like book some extra stuff to make that 15% commission, you know, your weekly co commissions. I mean, again, if you're in the mode right now of growing your business, count on your paycheck going up. So let's look at that. Um, I would consider also selling some things on marketplace if you needed to, or, you know, like picking up an extra shift, doing something else. I mean, I don't know, like I, I would do whatever I could to go because there is no doubt it will grow your business. I mean, it, there's no doubt about it. So it is the best conference you will ever go to. So that's GTC. Um, and again, red, make that your first priority to register. And then your second priority is to find flights. Um, and we're and oh, that was what I was going to say about the hotel. So we, we do it all on the cheap. We usually do like four girls to a room. It usually ends up being like $125 a person for your whole four nights because we're splitting those four nights by everyone. So um, I would definitely reserve a room. Like if you're a leader and expects to, to bring a team with you, I would go ahead and book a room and expect like because you can always cancel it, but book a room yourself um, and then know that your team, you're going to be splitting with your team. So that's the best advice that I can give. So um, anyway, um, that's really it for like, as far as like announcements and everything else goes. I know that like, you know, I had mentioned at the beginning of this call and last week, we're not going to be doing a Sunday night call every week. It just seems like that's something that everyone doesn't really need. Um, just, you know, our numbers have been dwindling on that. Um, and, you know, there's no sense in doing it if it's not needed. But what is needed, you know, is like the um, community, the camaraderie, um, and the training. And so I encourage everyone, we've been invited, you know, really in the last couple of years, we were, we were invited originally um, to the Saturday skills training. And if you can get on that live, I encourage you to do that because, it's incredible. I mean, it's, it's, they're, they're amazing. And they're full, you know, they're full of VPs. You can ask questions afterwards. It's just great energy, but they're every um, Saturday morning and all the information for that is posted on our featured post on our um, success and simplicity Facebook page. So um, definitely check that out. I would make a commitment to be on a couple of them live, just so you can see for yourself, like if that's, if that's filling, you know, what you need. And then of course, if we decide that we need to do a Sunday night call down the road, we'll do it. 
Um, I know that some of us in the level up group will be doing some things. Um, I don't know if we're going to do it on Sunday night or, you know, whatever we can, but, um, but that's something to look forward to. And of course we'll open it up to everyone. So what are you saying, Lauren Rose? Yes. There's set times on Saturday. It's every Saturday. It's like at like nine 30, nine 30. I want to say nine 30 our time. Central. I think. Yeah. Um, I was going to just say about the, like earning Punta Cana or, you know, the, anything like that. Um, it's like, you know, remember Andrea, when you said, you know, well, we all probably know that story about Roger Bannister that broke the four minute mile. Um, and before he did, like, nobody thought it could be done. And then after he did, everybody was doing it. And so to me, it's like that with the trips, like you do it one time. And so you have to kind of, I remember the first time I, I was just like, you know, I, I wanted it so bad and I was unsure, but I was just like, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to go for it and I'm going to do it. And once you do it, you're like, oh, it's just not that hard. Like it's you're, not hard. you're going to do it. Like you, then you'll never miss one is what I mean to say by that. So, so if the first one feels hard, it's like that. It's like somebody, you know, it's like probably to Roger Bannister, he was like, you know, I don't know if I can break this four minute, but I'm going to run my ass off. Sorry, Ophelia. And, um, <laughs> you know, and just see if I can get this done. And then, wow, you know, oh, yay. I'm so glad she's saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Ophelia, how old is she? And she she gets it. Um, so y'all just, you know, it's- Yeah, Ophelia, do you want to go to the beach? You want to go to the beach? September? <laughs> she's like, yeah. And you get onto your mommy yeah. and make sure she takes you. <laughs> <laughs> that's your accountability was, buddy <laughs> who was saying that about their kid looked at him and they were like well yeah. aren't you gonna earn this and she was like yeah and she's like well I don't see you do anything about it right now like to her mom because her mom was just like standing there so anyway but just think about that, like that wasn't like, that Whitney Haynes that said that I think it might have been like you know I don't see you do anything right now so but look at it like that like this is just your first you know breakthrough but then after that, it's just, it's just like the numbers in, in a way, or like getting to district or getting to area, like the numbers do seem big until you, you know, you do it and you're like, oh, I can do this. And in, in the solution yeah. to every problem that you could ever have with your Arbonne, you know, business is just find more people like, oh, I've got people quitting, find more people. Oh, I have people saying no, find more people. Oh, I don't have any new consultants find more people. I mean, like literally like that is the answer. It's not magic. It's just reach out to more people. And so you just have to find, I think for me, I know it was like finding like a consistent way to do that. You know, again, you know, I always like equate everything to exercising. Like it, it's just, I, I really feel like it was like when, every time I had a baby and especially after my third one, because my brother was getting married right afterwards, he didn't end up doing that. But anyway, that's a whole other story. But anyway, um, like I was trying to get in shape, like after every pregnancy, you know, to get back into my clothes. And like, when I stopped like worrying about like, oh, do my clothes fit, you know, can I wear this dress now? Or can I do that? But like, I just did the do every day. Like I just ate right. And I went to the gym. Like I, I wasn't like, you know, like, cause like, I know after my first baby, I was like, oh my gosh, my, you know, my jeans, like why? Like some people leave the hospital wearing their same jeans. I'm not one of those girls, you know, like I would like, you know, be frustrated. And then I was like, I'm not even going to like keep trying. I'll try them on once a month or whatever. But like, I just did the do like, and attach myself to that. And then like, it was amazing what happened, you know? And I think about that with my business. It's like, I don't look at my numbers. Like people will say, Oh, what are my numbers? I'm like, I haven't looked at numbers. Like I don't look at my numbers that often because it doesn't really matter to me, you know, because like what matters to me are my numbers, you know, like in this, you know, like that's the only thing that really matters to me is that if, am I doing that? And so really like, like find something that works for you because if it's not going to work for you, like it's, you're not going to do it, you know? So like, you've got to find something that's going to like work for you and the pace you can run at. So whether that's doing just eight groups a month or whether that's doing like, you know, 30 one-on-ones or whatever it is, a combination, you know, of the two, I, I would just do that. And, um, and then whatever you do, just commit to being consistent because that is honestly the only secret of success in this business is just the consistency. And, and really, honestly, just like with anything else in life, if you think about it. So 
that is all I have. And we're right at eight o'clock y'all. So um, does anyone have any questions or want to add anything? So especially since we're only getting on like once a month. No. Everyone's quiet. Okay. One thing too, is if you have a new consultant, make sure that you add them in the Facebook group, because some of them I noticed they weren't lighting up. Um, like, you know, they weren't highlighting when I um, did the praise report. So that is it. All right, y'all. Well, y'all have a great week and a great month. I'm sure I'm going to be talking to a lot of y'all individually. <laughs> so that's why I don't feel like it's that big a deal that we're not going to see each other for a whole month as a group because we're going to yeah, so now she keeps saying let's go to the beach beach yeah that's what you, you know what ophelia say that to your mama every morning when you wake up beach say beach <laughs> that could be good right, girl <laughs> there now like christiana's got an accountability buddy let's go to the beach so cute. beach it's gonna be so fun but like that's the thing y'all like it is thanks so a lot, right, Christiana? <laughs> so fun. So fun. All right, y'all. Well, y'all have a great week and a great month. And um, we'll talk See you soon. in Vegas. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> register. Bye. Bye.